what is happening guys welcome back to the channel we are reviewing the ev7 penrose putter brand new putter today before we jump into the video check down below make sure you're subscribed to the channel like the video helps us out a lot and yeah uh let's jump into it all right guys, so I just gotta give you a little bit of backstory about this putter. First of all, um, I shouldn't even have this. These aren't released to the public yet. ev 7s a brand new company and the Penrose is an unreleased disc. Um, but I actually got this in a player's pack at the Super Bowl Scramble in Lula, Georgia. We have a video of that, um, just like a, a tour vlog. Um, but yeah, this disc is completely unreleased. It can't even get in until March 1st. It's uh, available for pre-order. Um, but I was super excited to get my hands on it. Uh, the big news about this company, guys, EV7, premium disc golf putters. They are a putter only company and they're brand new. They're local in Georgia. I think they, um, they produced out in LJ, Georgia. So yeah, I was super excited to get my hands on this disc, guys. And as soon as I got it, I said, we got to try this thing out. So what I've got for you today is a review. I whipped out my practice basket, got out my PA3s and said, let's see how this thing compares to some putters that we've thrown before. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how this thing flies. Love it. I didn't know what I was gonna expect. I mean, a putter, sort of a putter. I putt with PA threes. I used to a long time ago putt with AVRs. I've putted with PA uh, P twos from Discmania before. Um, and so I just want to highlight a few things about this. Um, it's got a bead, a small bead. It's not significant. My PA threes have a really large bead. And so if you like a beaded putter, this is definitely a beaded putter. And I happen to like that, but it's all about comfort. So the Penrose is a beaded putter. Uh, it's pretty overstable. Uh, what I was noted, I mean, this is a brand new putter, so it might beat into a little straighter, but it is a pretty overstable putter. I was putting with a little bit of Anheuser earlier, just trying to see like how long it would take to come out of it. And it was fighting out of it pretty quickly. Um, outside the circle putts, you're definitely not gonna want long Anheuser putts with this until it beats in, but I actually love a good overstable putting putter. Uh, I like my PA3s to be newer because when they beat in, uh, they start to be a little straight for me. Uh, I'm a hyzer putter for the most part, so I like it to start to the right and crash into the chains. And if you like that, you're gonna love this putter. Um, this is in what they call OG base plastic. Now I know that's one of their four plastic types, and I assume all the discs that they come out with, all the putters are gonna be in one of those four types. Um, and it's just softness. And I think they will end up having a premium plastic, but those four, it's like soft, base, medium, and hard. I, like, don't quote me on that, but that's basically the, the rundown. I think it's just all about the firmness of the plastic. They're all still, all four of those plastics are still base putter plastic. They haven't yet released a premium plastic for these. Um, but when they do, I will be very interested. I'm not sure that I'm switching from my PA3s. I've been putting with them for years, but this is a great putter and they're at a great price point too, guys. I mean, I'm, we're not sponsored by these guys, but this is a cheap putter and I'm excited about where, uh, where this company is going and what it could mean for the sport in the future. Guys like Drew Gibson getting sponsorships only for putters. I mean, that's, that's wild, guys. That could be wild, like game changing for the whole sport, for the whole pro scene. Uh, if companies start specializing and getting guys to sign on, maybe to throw literally one driver or one mid, and they, the sponsorship opportunities are all over the place. And it's bold of EV7 to, to step into that space where nobody has really done anything before to try and just be a putter company. Uh, you know, it's cool to see to see new things happening in the sport so yeah i love the disc guys go check them out uh the company is called ev7 again you can pre-order the disc and uh yeah anyway guys stay swanky <laughs> 